and welcome to X-Ray Review. Paget's disease is a relatively common chronic metabolic disorder of the bone, which is characterized by excessive abnormal bone remodeling. Paget's disease primarily affects the way bones are broken down and rebuilt, resulting in bones that are larger, weaker, and more brittle than normal. Compare the difference between the pagetic bone seen on the left and the contralateral unaffected hemipelvis on the right. You should be able to see a difference. Look at the coarsened, thick trabecular markings on the left. While Paget's disease can occur in any bone in the body, it most commonly affects the pelvis, the skull, the spine, and the long bones of the arms and legs. Here is a subtle case of cortical thickening seen in early pagets. Take a close look at the femoral heads. Compare both of the femoral heads and notice the cortical thickening and increased trabecular markings seen on the right. Radiographically, when we're concerned with pagets, there are typically three findings we're looking for. The first is cortical thickening, and this is where the cortical bones and trabecular margins appear coarsened and thickened. The second is an increase in bone density. And then lastly is enlargement of bone. And usually if you look closely, you'll see that uh, there's an asymmetric enlargement of bone when you look at one side compared to the other. The etiology is not entirely known, but it is a disease of osteoclasts, possibly associated with a viral infection or a genetic predisposition. Paget's disease is relatively common and can affect up to 11% of individuals over the age of 80. Compare the difference between the left and right hemipelvis. Which side looks abnormal? There are three different stages of pagets. The first is lytic, where you have osteoclastic activity. Here the L5 vertebral body is osteolytic in appearance, as opposed to what we typically expect from pagets, which is an increase in bone density. The second stage is mixed, where you can have both osteoblastic and osteoclastic activity. And the third stage is sclerotic or blastic, and this is where you have all osteoblastic activity, and this is the most common radiographic presentation of Paget's disease. And typically, these stages will correlate with their imaging findings. Here's another good example of Paget's disease in the pelvis. As you compare both sides, you should see an increase in cortical thickening, an increase in bone density, and enlargement of bone. There is a radiographic sign said to be pathognomonic for Paget's disease, which is cortical thickening and sclerosis encasing the vertebral margins, causing a picture frame sign. The diagnosis of Paget's disease is typically based on a combination of clinical symptoms, radiographic findings, and blood tests to measure markers of bone turnover. Treatment options typically include medications to regulate bone turnover and manage symptoms, as well as surgery in some cases to address complications or deformities. If left untreated, Paget's disease can lead to various complications such as bone deformities, fractures, hearing loss, and nerve compression. And in some rare cases, it can progress to bone cancer, such as a pagetic osteosarcoma. And thank you for listening. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Thanks again.